We are reminded that, in the fleeting time we have on this earth, what matters is not wealth, or status, or power, or fame, but rather how well we have loved and what small part we have played in making the lives of other people better. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. You can't let your failures define you. You have to let your failures teach you. Keep exploring. Keep dreaming. Keep asking why. Don't settle for what you already know. Never stop believing in the power of your ideas, your imagination, your hard work to change the world. When times get tough, we don't give up. We get up. Change is never easy, but always possible. When ignorant folks want to advertise their ignorance, you don't really have to do anything, you just let them talk. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. I do that every day. Asking for help isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. It shows you have the courage to admit when you don't know something, and to learn something new. If somebody is different from you, that's not something you criticize, that's something that you appreciate. Greatness is never free, it must be earned. You can't always come up with the optimal solution, but you can usually come up with a better solution. Just because we have the best hammer does not mean that every problem is a nail. Fighting for what you think is right is always worth it. The best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope, you will fill yourself with hope. Our destiny is not written for us, but by us. Hope is not blind optimism. It's not ignoring the enormity of the task ahead or the roadblocks that stand in our path. It's not sitting on the sidelines or shirking from a fight. Hope is that thing inside us that insists, despite all evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us if we have the courage to reach for it, and to work for it, and to fight for it. Hope is the belief that destiny will not be written for us, but by us, by the men and women who are not content to settle for the world as it is, who have the courage to remake the world as it should be. Fear, uncertainty, and discomfort are your compasses toward growth. If you run you stand a chance of losing, but if you don't run you've already lost. Every single one of you has something you're good at. Every single one of you has something to offer, and you have a responsibility to yourself to discover what that is. That's the opportunity an education can provide. We did not come to fear the future. We came here to shape it. Don't just get involved. Fight for your seat at the table. Better yet, fight for a seat at the head of the table. Don't shortchange the future, because of fear in the present. Every life must be given the chance to realize its full potential, that every life matters. Transparency and the rule of law will be the touchstones of this presidency. As you get older, your mind gets a little more set. And it needs the poking and prodding and breaking through of stereotypes that I think young people provide. Take off your bedroom slippers, put on your marching shoes. Shake it off. Stop complaining, stop grumbling, stop crying. We are going to press on. We've got work to do. Your voice can change the world. If you're walking down the right path and you're willing to keep walking, eventually you'll make progress.
The future belongs to young people with an education and the imagination to create. If poverty is a disease that infects the entire community in the form of unemployment and violence, failing schools and broken homes, then we can't just treat those symptoms in isolation. We have to heal that entire community. Money is not the only answer, but it makes a difference. Every country has violent, hateful, or mentally unstable people. What's different is not every country is awash with easily accessible guns. I don't believe people should be able to own guns. No religion is responsible for terrorism. People are responsible for violence and terrorism. We will finish the race. You have the ability and gifts to do whatever you want. It is your turn now to change the world. Yes we can. The best education I received was working with people in the community on a grassroots basis. Because what it taught me was that ordinary people, when they are working together can do extraordinary things. Focusing your life solely on making a buck shows a poverty of ambition. It asks too little of yourself. And it will leave you unfulfilled. While the future is unknowable, the winds always blow in the direction of human progress. While freedom is a gift from God, it must be secured by his people here on earth. I accept that people are going to call me awful things every day, and I will always defend their right to do so. Stamina. There is a greater physical element to this job than you would think, just being able to grind it out. And I think your ability to not just mentally and emotionally, but physically be able to say, we got this. We're going to be okay. The best anti-poverty program is a world-class education. I've got two daughters. Nine years old and six years old. I am going to teach them first of all about values and morals. But if they make a mistake, I don't want them punished with a baby. The study of geography is about more than just memorizing places on a map. It's about understanding the complexity of our world, appreciating the diversity of cultures that exists across continents. And in the end, it's about using all that knowledge to help bridge divides and bring people together. The arc of the moral universe may bend towards justice, but it doesn't bend on its own. The fact that we are here today to debate raising America's debt limit is a sign of leadership failure. It is a sign that we now depend on ongoing financial assistance from foreign countries to finance our government's reckless fiscal policies. We reward people a lot for being rich, for being famous, for being cute, for being thin. One of the values I think we need to instill in our country, in our children, is a sense of usefulness, in other words, are we useful, are we making other people's lives a little bit better? Don't let your failures define you. If you work hard, and are responsible, you should be rewarded. I believe in evolution, scientific inquiry, and global warming, I believe in free speech, whether politically correct or politically incorrect, and I am suspicious of using government to impose anybody's religious beliefs including my own on non-believers. Our nation owes a debt to its fallen heroes that we can never fully repay, but we can honor their sacrifice. When people see opportunity, when they have a sense of control of their own destiny, then they're less vulnerable to the propaganda and twisted ideologies that have been attracting young people, particularly being turbocharged through social media. Someday, our children, and our children's children, will look at us in the eye and they'll ask us, 
Did we do all that we could when we had the chance to deal with this problem and leave them a cleaner, safer, more stable world? The fact that we are here today to debate raising America's debt limit is a sign of leadership failure. America has a debt problem and a failure of leadership. Americans deserve better. I, therefore, intend to oppose the effort to increase America's debt. It ought to concern every person, because it is a debasement of our common humanity. It ought to concern every community, because it tears at our social fabric. It ought to concern every business, because it distorts markets. It ought to concern every nation, because it endangers public health and fuels violence and organized crime. I'm talking about the injustice, the outrage, of human trafficking, which must be called by its true name, modern slavery. There is not a liberal America and a conservative America, there is the United States of America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America, there's the United States of America. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.